Question number 11, Melissa Lee. My question is to the Associate Minister for the Environment and ask, what recent announcements has he made about the government's waste minimi minimisation fund? The Honourable Scott Simpson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. The waste minimisation um, fund is funded from a levy introduced by the national-led government in 2009. It charges uh, on waste dispose of, uh, disposed of at landfills to discourage waste and to fund recycling initiatives. Recently, I've made several announcements, including over $5.1 million of investment into four projects to reduce litter. This includes the installation of combined litter and smart recycling bins, supporting uh, Keep New Zealand Beautiful to undertake a national litter survey as well. And as recently as this morning, this morning, Mr Speaker, my colleague, Dr Nick Smith, has announced grants of $19 million for investments into solutions for New Zealand's end-of-life tyres. Oh, supplementary question, Barbara Kuriger. To the Minister, how is the government using the Waste Minimisation Fund to help local community groups to move towards zero waste? The Honourable Scott Simpson. Mr Speaker, the organisation Parakore has a vision for all marae around New Zealand to be zero waste by 2020. So far there are 171 marae taking part in the programme and they have diverted a massive 178 tonnes of waste from landfill. Last week in Raglan, in the members' own beautiful electorate, I announced funding of nearly uh, a further $800,000 to extend that program and a further $150,000 to allow the Waikato District Council to implement food waste collection diversion and composting services in Raglan. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, supplementary question, Denise Roach. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Why is he taking nearly $20 million from the Waste Minimisation Fund and not spending it on community groups who are working to reduce waste and subsidising companies that don't really need it? The Honourable Scott Simpson. Mr Speaker, the government has provided grants of almost $19 million to nine tyre-related projects, including $13.6 million towards new equipment at Golden Bay Cement in the Northland electorate. Uh, and that will uh, totally dispose of 3.1 million shredded tyres per year. Now, this technology, Mr Speaker, is globally one of the most common and economically viable solutions to waste tyres. The high temperature incineration minimises pollutants and the steel in the tyres contributes to the iron requirements of cement and the rubber provides uh, a fuel to substitute for coal. So, sir, this is a very good way of disposing of end-of-life tyres uh, that have been causing enormous problems around the country. Point. Point, point of order. Order. The Golden Bay retread complex he talks about is in the Whangarei electorate and not the Northern electorate. Order, order. That's not a point of order. Supplementary question, Denise Roach. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Why has he rejected putting an advanced disposal fee on tyres, as the industry itself has asked for, when $5 on each tyre would create about $25 million a year, which would cover recycling costs and more. The Honourable Scott Simpson. Thank you, Mr Speaker, because on this side of the House, we take a pragmatic uh, blue-green approach to environmental matters, and we are not the party of heavy-handed and expensive regulation. Supplementary, Mr. Supplementary question. Point Minister. of order? Oh, point of order, Denise Roach. Thank you. I seek leave to table um, an email to the Honourable Nick Smith, dated the 22nd of September 2015, from Mark Gilbert, from the industry itself, the chair of Tirewise, work, Tirewise Working Group, expressing order. disappointment no, 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 that no, they the, haven't the introduced... The document's management. been described. It doesn't need further description. Leave us all to table that particular email to the Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Is there any objection to it being tabled? There is no objection, it can be tabled. Thank you. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Denise Roach. 
When will he stop coming up with half measures that subsidise ongoing pollution for things like tyres and plastic bags, and instead introduce mandatory product stewardship schemes that actually work to reduce waste? The Honourable Scott Simpson. Um, Mr Speaker, the issue of plastic bags is a, is a current one, and I've recently received advice from the Ministry for the Environment on a range of options to tackle plastic bags, which I'm now considering. And additionally, I'm meeting with stakeholders in the sector, mayors and officials regarding the issue and the disposal of them. Ah, supplementary question, Melissa Lee. Thank you, uh, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, how is the Waste Minimisation Fund helping to repurpose waste which otherwise would have gone to landfill? The Honourable Scott Simpson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Last month I announced that the Government is supporting the collection and recycling of Tauranga's uh, untreated wood waste with a grant of $359,000. This grant helped purchase a wood chipping machine, which means that uh, a very large amount, uh, some 44 tonnes of kiwi fruit boxes and pallets per week, uh, that used to go to landfill are now being chipped and used in gardens as mulch and also as uh, uh, a protective layer for children's playground. The member will be pleased to know that I will be making further announcements in the future. Order. Question number 12, Madam Fox. Thank you, Mr.